Hey, what's going on peeps? It's Brian. We are back working on Tetanus. The good old 66 Mustang. It's gonna be like an old person in Florida here pretty soon. It's gonna be born in 1966, but it's not gonna have any parts left in it. Couple knees, couple hips, floorboards, trunk, everything. So we're gonna work on today is getting this uh, hopefully fiberglass insulation out. It looks like pink fiberglass, it should be all right. I don't think it's asbestos, who knows? And uh, the rest of this headliner ripped out, then we're gonna crawl under the car and unbolt the seats there. And get, at least get the front seat out today. So I have some room to get in for the dashboard because it's kind of rough there too. And we'll just keep pulling stuff out and throwing it on the pile. It's fun. It's therapy maybe? Man, I have therapy, but it gives you something to do in the night. All right, we're going to throw you on a time lapse. Talk at you soon. Hey, welcome back peeps so what you saw is I got the front seat out granted it wasn't all that difficult I only had to actually undo one bolt the other one on this side broke and those ones well I'll show you when I get over there so we got the oh the headliner and that insulation pulled out we got some the rest well most of the insulation from back there pulled out most of the carpet all pulled out of here besides that matting stuff and the area around the top of the trans tunnel. I'm pretty sure the roof insulation was just fiberglass. That being a firewall-ish and close to the engine insulation, that's probably asbestos. So I'm going to save that for later. I'm kind of tired and I'm already itching from all the fiberglass I just yanked out of there. So I'm going to head home and order some dinner and uh, jump in the shower. So. But as you can see, we'll walk around there. Seats are in pristine condition. Chrome is still all right. Chrome's gonna get painted anyway, so it's all, it's fine. So yeah, there's there's the, uh, the mounting holes for the seats. As you can see, not much holding them in anymore. So we got most of this stuff vacuumed out, except like I said, except for that matting underneath the carpet, which I'm pretty sure is asbestos. So, Unless any of you out there know what they used to insulate carpet in the 1960s in cars. But since in that time in drag racing, the fire suits everybody wore that were Nomex, they were asbestos. It's 
probably a reasonable guess. All right, well, if you enjoy this type of content and what we're doing here, click that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, leave your gripes, comments, complaints, everything else you got, just throw it down here in the comments. And until next time, take it easy, peeps.